Well, today we're going to install a brush guard, grill guard, damage multiplier, whatever you want to call them. I like the way they look. Um, it only took about two hours to do, and if you don't have an impact driver, you might want to get one if you want to build one of these. So we're going to go from taking it out of the packaging, putting it together, and slapping it on the car. It's really simple. It just takes a little while. So let's get started. All right, I've got everything out of the box it shipped in. So now it's time to start unwrapping each piece so I can start putting it together. All right, everything is unpackaged and it's time to start bolting it together. So I have the three middle pieces attached and uh, the top and the bottom one, they're cut at an angle. So my suggestion, suggestion to you is to tighten this one down but only hand tighten the top and bottom until this is tight and then you can figure out where it's supposed to sit with the angles and then when you tighten them down they'll all go together smoothly. Alright I have both sides bolted on but they have some adjustment so I left them a little bit loose so I can figure out where exactly they're gonna sit when I get it mounted up to the car. All right, here's our tow hook. And we gotta take the two bolts out that are holding it on, and one of our brackets is gonna mount there. And then our other bracket is gonna mount right here. Here's our bracket, we have two of these, and they're just gonna mount to that point. I just had it going. There we go. Another. That's a little tighter than I want to go. I want to leave it loose so I can adjust it. Where's larger air tank? Yeah, you don't have the impact gun, it's going to be really fucking hard. Definitely want to hand start these. I'm leaving that loose so I can attach the top easier and then I'll come back and tighten it once it's attached. Alright, so I'm gonna lay this down. Right. 
Lay that down. All right, I've got the three holes here. I'll put my bolt through this front one and through there. So I'll have a, a hinge in it. Same over here. Corresponding holes. Make a little hinge there. Now I'm just going to swing it up. Put in more bolts. That'll hold that while I get the other bolts in. That side's all loosely fit. Now, do the same for this side. Now, those are all on, I can start tightening everything down. All right. Those are all tight. Now I want to tighten up the bottom ones. Flashlight. All right. This should be good. Seriously, an impact driver will make your life way easier doing this. Since I left, where's it at? I left these connections for these guys loose so I can tighten them down now so I can see how everything looks and get it all lined up the way I want it. No, there's nothing that says you can't just wait until this step even attach these sides. That might save you some weight when you're fighting with it to attach the bottom of it. Well, that's tight. Well, that is finished. So that took about two hours to do. And uh, I definitely would suggest an impact driver. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. And you know, I really don't understand why people like to call these damage multipliers.